Hi everyone, welcome back to my class. This is Romana Ali. I hope you all are doing well. In today's class, let us start a lesson movements in animals. In this lesson, we are going to discuss about the different bones that are found in the human body and about the different joints that are present in the human body that helps the human body to move from one place to another place. So how can we move from one place to another place? We can show the different movements with the help of our bones and muscles so when we talk about the movements in the humans then these two things plays a major role bones and muscles bones and muscles they work together so when they work together then only we can show the movement the movement in the human body is possible due to the combined work of bones and muscles when you look at your elbow or when you want to bend your elbow or uh, your leg at the position of knee then you can do so because of the presence of muscles and bones there so muscles and bones they work together and they help in the movement of different body parts so bending hands at our elbow and legs at our knees chewing food all these are the different movements that are done with the help of bones and muscles and these bones and muscles lie under our skin what do you mean by muscles first muscles are nothing but the fleshy structure that can be found under the skin when you look at your shoulders and the other body parts you can find the movement of some fleshy structure which is present under the skin Beneath the skin, the fleshy material or the fleshy structures are present. That fleshy structures are called as muscles. And due to the movement, due to the contraction and the relaxation of the muscles, we can show the different movements. So how the contraction and relaxation of the muscles takes place? All the muscles, they work in pair. When one muscle contracts, the other one relaxes. When the first muscle relaxes, the other one contracts. In such a way, the different muscles, they work in pairs. They show the contraction and relaxation. And due to the contraction and relaxation of the muscles, the movement of the different body parts is possible. For example, if you want to open and fold the finger, when you open the finger, some of the muscles are relaxed and some may contract. And when you fold your fingers, some muscles are in the contraction and some muscles are in the relaxation. In such a way, the relaxation and the contraction of the muscles helps us to open and to fold the finger easily. So in this way, muscles play a very important role which are fleshy structures present under our skin, present beneath the skin. These fleshy structures on contraction and relaxation helps us to show various movements in our body part. Now let us talk about the bones because we know that bones and muscles they work together. When they work together or when they work in a coordinated manner then only we can show the different movements of our different body parts. So what are the bones? Bones are the hard structures that are present in our body. The bones they are attached to the muscles. These are the bony structures, hard structures. So bones are the hard structures that are present and these bones they join to one another with some material. Within a minute we'll talk about that material. So they join together and they make a single framework of our body. So the different bones they join together at the different joints and they give shape and support to our body by making a framework. So the framework that makes up by the bones, that framework of our body is nothing but skeleton. So skeleton is made up of bones. The different bones, they join together and they form skeleton. Skeleton gives shape and support to our body. And bones and muscles plays a major role in making the movements of our different body parts. So just before I told you that muscles are attached to the bones. So with what material they are attached? If we want to paste a paper on the cardboard, then we need a glue or a fevicol to paste it, right? To paste the paper on the cardboard, we need some material. Likewise, the muscles, they are joined with the bones. So they also need some material to get attached with that of the bones. And that material is round, soft, fiber-like material is present. 
so these fibrous like structures are called as tendons tendons are rope like fibers they connect the muscles with the bones so in this way these fiber like material is called as tendon we have also studied that the different bones they are also attached with each other they are also connected with each other so how they are going to connect with each other what material is helping them to connect with each other so here also some fiber like material is present which is elastic and these fiber like material that are present in between the two bones that material is called as ligament so ligaments are also the different fibers that connects one bone with the another bone so ligaments are the fibrous material that attaches bone to bone and tendons are also the fiber like material that attaches muscle to the bones so in this way whenever we say the attachment of muscles to the bones then tendon is a material that helps them to attach or to connect and whenever we say the attachment of one bone to another that means the bone to bone attachment is due to the presence of a material called ligament so this is how the bones and muscles are present they show the movement or they make the movement of the different body parts because of the presence of the different materials that joins them or that connects them and they are called as tendons and ligaments so bones and muscles they are coordinated in such a way that they help in showing the movement of the different body parts in our body now we are going to discuss about the different types of bones that are present in our body the first one is jaw bone so jaw bone is present in our upper jaws as well as in our lower jaws ask your friend to open his mouth and to move his upper jaw and the lower jaw up and down and even in the side ways so when he is going to move his upper jaw and the lower jaw he can find some of the movements in the skull as well so the upper jaw and the lower jaw of our mouth is joined with that of the skull and the joint which is present between the upper jaw and skull is called as fixed joint the next one is shoulder bone when you see your shoulders some part is protruding out the bony part is protruding so that bony part are called as shoulder bone so the uh, bones that are present in our shoulder they protrudes and the next one is ribs ribs are the bones that forms the rib cage they bend towards the back side and as they are bending they form or they connect the chest bone with that of the backbone and they form a box like structure and that box like structure is called as rib cage rib cage is formed with the bones called ribs and this rib cage helps to protect our delicate organs for example heart and liver these are the delicate organs that are found in our body so they are protected because of the presence of a box like structure called rib cage and rib cage is made up of different bones that are called as ribs the next one is backbone so backbone is also called as spinal cord this backbone it starts from the neck region and it extends towards the waist and that long structure that extends from the neck towards the waist that bone is called as backbone or we can call it as a spinal cord and this backbone shows some small parts the small parts are joined together and they results in the formation of a long bone called spinal cord so the small parts of the spinal cord small bones of the spinal cord are termed as vertebrae when the vertebrae join together they results in the formation of a long structure which we call it as backbone or spinal cord the next one is pelvic girdle this is a bone that is present below the waist we can find uh, the presence of a bone below the waist and the two bones which are similar in structure they are present in the two parts of our body and these bones are called as pelvic girdle they are made up of pelvic bones so they are two present and they are similar in structure the next one is skull skull is very very important part that is present in our body because 
we know that brain is a major organ that is found in the human body so the brain can get protection because of the presence of skull skull is a bony structure that protects our brain and it is made up of different bones so the different bones are joined together with the help of a joint called fixed joint again so the bones that are present in the skull they are joined together with the help of a fixed joint and these different bones forms a structure forms an outer covering and that is called as skull and skull is an outer covering or it is a bony structure that helps to protect our brain that helps to cover our brain now the next one is cartilage cartilage is also a type of bone but it is not so hard these are soft bones and the body parts like ear nose i mean tip of the nose and ribs or the vertebrae of the spinal cord all these are made up of the soft bone called cartilage in this way the different bones are present in the different parts of our body and they help in providing protection to the different organs they help in the locomotion that means to show the movement they help in making the movement of the different parts so the different bones are jaw bone shoulder bone ribs backbone that is also called as spinal cord pelvic girdle skull and cartilage these are the different bones that plays a very important role in making the movement of our body parts that's all for today meet you in next class goodbye